Somebody's doing some good research and trying to uncover and and discover what really is, right. and um, so you know, I mean, it, it's uh, you know, I'm looking at going back to school and trying to figure out, you know, if I ever decide to get a doctoral degree, um, <laughs> what I might, what my thesis might be. You, you again, you're you're piquing my interest. Yeah, it'd <laughs> with, be with interesting. With this see, book. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but yeah, right. there's, there's got to be more information, um, yeah. whether it be from the church. Whether it be uh, um, in the in the the um, some of this stuff that's in these museums that uh, people just don't know about, but they're they're there. Well, um, well, you know, like look at those artifacts you see from King Tuck, you know, yes. and, mm -hmm. and all the other um, those are those are, those statues. Even that that sphinx here, that sphinx yes. is out mm -hmm. there. That that requires uh, talented culture people skill yes but, yeah because that, that was it, it wasn't like a rock you know <laughs> it was it was very fine those those statues there were were huge right right you know the pyramids yes are huge you yes. know that that just and then like i said when we, we look at it we we i guess we were screwing our mind of thinking egypt and some people not just us some of my counterparts here in this country for years didn't think Egypt was African. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we see Moses, right? Right. <laughs> the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we changed the, 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 the uh, texture of the skin of the people that was actually there. Right. Right. Because we don't want to show that they had chariots and and, and, and they were building pyramids and, and great statues and, and all that stuff. And matter of fact, we don't even want to say that the writing came from Africa, right? Mm -hmm. We just start putting on the paperwork. Mm -hmm. And it's it just, it just, uh, it just showing you that lack of knowledge. Well, it, you know, on, on top of that, you, you, again, you got my mind going. So, what's happening is, is uh, just like with you know when the Rome, the Vatican, how they uh, manipulated things that went out. Right. Um, what's going on in seminary? Because if if you're really trying to teach the truth, then in all of these seminary schools, they should be enlightening those students. And what I am I am detecting just based on this conversation here is that that's not happening. No, because uh, I, I do want to let you know that as okay. that this book, like I said, this one is called, you know, Stamp. Uh -huh. But I asked you, you might want to get this book. This book is worth reading. It's got a lot, it's a it's a not a history book, but it has a lot of history in it, right? You know, I think I did see that in this this store when yeah. I was there at Booksmith. Yes. You should read. Oh should man. Read you should uh -huh. get it. It's a real good book, but it goes into history and it shows you that the church played a major role in the lie. Mm -hmm. The church, mm -hmm. the church is the one, it. huh? We will inherently do that when we stop going to Christ for, for leadership. Yeah. I think the greatest problem that man has had has been we think too much. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. We lie too much. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't we, but we don't, I think we don't know we lie. I think sometimes it was just misperceptions and misinformation that got the whole I mean look, we, we came up with a whole body of, of information concerning evolution, which they proven is faulty from the God knows how long, but there's so much of it that they don't want to abandon it. Or so, the fact that or the fact it was rooted in racism. They're well developed lives. They yeah. are well developed lives. And when you talk about people with doctoral degrees, I've been in a school system where people had doctor degrees who were idiots. Yeah. Because but they had embraced false ideologies, they had in, in false doctrine. And they were experts in false doctrine. And I'm trying to figure out how do you corrupt the whole system? You elevate people who are ignorant. 
Well, you know, you know, everybody that buys it, into yeah. what your belief system is, yeah. you elevate them within that system. Yeah. And our brothers were trying to keep control of what they had come to. Yeah. So everything that's going on makes perfectly good sense when you think in terms of the United States of America was a conquered nation, the conquerors are still trying to maintain control. Well, but I mean, could you mean like, for example, the Darwin was based, it was a racist uh, book, really. It was trying to show an evolution of man and saying is that you 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 part of that evolution that is still closer to the tree. Right, and then the, the, the as you evolve, you move further away from the tree, and then they talk about the monkey tree, you know, where the monkey was. That's us <coughs> on the tree, and then as we evolve, we move away from the tree. So mm -hmm. then they're saying is that people are trying to take the evolution of man and saying we are the primitive form of man. And it's all based on the texture of the skin. The color of skin does not determine how, that you are advanced or not. You know what I mean? But that's what they were, Darwin's trying to prove. That these people are more beastly. I mean, you read that little article, the guy was saying beastly, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and you, you did justify back in slavery that you were like livestock, right? Yeah. That's that's the justification. You were you were still primitive. You were still on the evolution level of not being advanced. So we're gonna treat you as an animal. We're gonna treat you as a beast. You know. So that's what that uh, we call it. The the guy who did the uh, Darwin or whatever. What's his name? What's Darwin. His name? Darwin. Darwin. Yeah, Darwin. And and. Those were the lies that science did. It did it did the church? They did the one by Ham. You remember we talked about Ham before? Yeah. You know, they they claimed that they, they were trying to say the whole dog race was a cursed race, saying starting all the way back from Noah. And you know, we read that before. We'll read it again in life. But that's called faith comes by hearing, right? We ain't gonna just cover something not go back to it eventually. But who was cursed in that situation, Noah, after the flood? Anybody remember who was cursed? Canaan. Yes, sir. Cursed be Canaan, who was the grandson of Noah. Not Ham, though, right? <laughs> it wasn't his son, it was his grandson. It, right. And, and then he had Ham, a lot of grandsons. <laughs> and Ham had a whole bunch of grandchildren. Yep. You know what I mean? But, but the church, I'm just not even of the church. The people who claim to be the church uh, perpetuated that lie and said it was because of the the curse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's in order a, to just build a lie, we got to take them back to the source. Huh? We really got to get men praying. We got to get men stop listening to men and start getting them to listen to God. Those what? lies were perpetuated because people were going to people for information and people fed them false information. Right. They did not pray. They were not. They didn't have a prayer relationship with the Father. So they, we felt we, not they, but we all fell for some lies. And I, and I know that that's true even up until the last, maybe last 10, 15 years of my life. Right? Because I listened to a whole bunch of people that were really wrong. Yeah. And I followed after that what they were telling me to do because I believed that they knew what they were talking about. I know it. And that's that's. But when you come to the Lord, He will give you real information. Yeah. But as of what, before we came in, what we did was showing the, uh, some of the excerpt. You know, I, I just, you saw me show the book of the, this book. This is uh, Stamp for the Beginning, mm -hmm. right? And then what, what I was, and brother, when I went and uh, some of the books that started this racist stuff started back in the 1400s when Prince Henry decided to raid the west coast of Africa. And, and he documented his conquests, uh, where they'd go down some of the rivers, try to get some of the rivers. <laughs> and they even showed, I mean, the guy he recorded, uh, Brother Jackson read it before you came, where they're saying is that these were primitive people, you know, living in holes or huts. Uh, they they, they uh, followed the wives. Remember Brother Jackson? They were belittling the wives, saying that their husband 
if he just for hospitality sake would give his wife to uh, a, you know a, a guest or a stranger uh, that they walk around basically almost naked uh, and they call them beastly and 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 some of them they, they, it was basically just trying to show a negative connotation of people of Africa and that was being widely publicized that these were uh, primitive people, you know? However, what I wanted, let, just let you see, we're showing that even today of Africa, but we're showing that these people, the Moors, you know the Moors, right? You heard of the Moors, right? But as a, I heard of that name. Okay, this these were the ones that nearly took over Europe. These are the pictures of the Moors. They they had culture. They had you know the 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 book that Brother Jackson read. They the people had no clothes on. They 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 didn't have any civilization. But the picture you see, I'm sharing. You see. Some of them have, you know, one of them was showing that guy was dressed in a knight armor. So they, the, the Moors, like I said, they invaded Europe. They pushed, they took over Spain and they got as far as France. And then France was able to, I guess, Europe finally pushed them back to Africa. But we wanted to say that these people had modern equipment, you know, sword, shield, weapons of war, modern war at that time, they had it. Make sense? What I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, the books that were put, being put out in the 1400s and 1500s and 1600s, and even I was saying how I've been affected, I didn't, I would think it was when I was in Tarzan. You remember Tarzan? Yeah. <laughs> My, my image of, of, of Africa was people in uh, swinging from trees and, 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 and wearing uh, shorts and no shirt on the top, you know? Uh, matter of fact, sometimes, even I, I, Brother Jack, I said my view of Africa even today is, mm -hmm. is uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even visualize uh, cities in Africa. Mm -hmm. Man, I should put it in. Let me see. What cities in Africa? Let me. I'm gonna type that in there. Look at well, Nigeria. You, look at the country of Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. And while you're looking at that, looking that up, you know, going back to what Elder said about, uh, I think something about how, in the, the church had gotten away from scripture. Now, taking what I would say is recent history here in the United States of America, in reference to slavery and post. Uh, slavery. When we got the information in the Bible, of course, it was sanitized. It was, uh, you know, aspects of the Bible were deleted, taken away, omitted, you know, for the slaves. And then once the slaves, uh, I think was it was it Nat Turner? Y'all help me out here. But you know, once the yeah, slaves read read uh, the full text, it's like, well, wait a minute, this is not. <laughs> we've been getting the wrong information. Yeah. Now, <laughs> let's bring that let's bring that to, to modern day 2020 yeah I think we're doing the same thing again because here we are talking about ham and Canaan and 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 the same information is being put out there it's being believed but yet still we are not reading the scripture to no. find out for ourselves what the <laughs> truth is yes. and, and appropriately challenging uh, and again I use that word appropriately uh, on purpose, appropriately oh, challenging yeah. uh, the those who are putting those messages out, whether it be inside inside the institution of the church or outside the institution of, the, of, of those four walls. You know, that's what we need to do. And that's why, again, this teaching, you know, getting together like we're doing is good. And um, and I'm just going to need to do something sort of to formalize it, because I'll be honest with you, you guys know a lot more about about the, the word than, than I do. I just, it, it's just I'm, it's Bro, amazing. I can't I'm make that claim. I cannot make that claim. Well, brother Addison, I'm learning. I'm learning a lot from you too, man. So hey, 
all I know is that it's the Holy Spirit that reveals pretty much everything that yeah. I say. And yeah. When I'm talking, and I'm just being completely honest because many times I'm sitting up here talking and you don't see it, but I'm standing right next to me like, boy, where you get that from? <laughs> I'm just being completely honest. Yeah, you know, we just, uh, I, you know, you know, and I think that's the whole purpose is our format is to study, show, self-approve. But look at this. this. This is Africa. 